The gun sends them on their way in the Bowerman Mile. We're expecting to see the 200th sub four minute mile in this event today. 200 of them as the uh, competitors in this Bowerman Mile flash on your screen. The coach in me is wondering what Alan Webb is doing in a star-studded field like this one. This is his first race of the outdoor season, but I guess it's a matter of baptism by fire. He'd been a little bit injured, maybe overtrained early on, and his coach made the decision last week after seeing a 1,200-meter time trial that he was ready and he would throw him in with this very fast field. We'll see how it all plays out. The difficult thing in a race like this is they go out right from the gun, and it's all a speed endurance from the gun. And with two rabbits, Kevin Elliott and Jackson Kavuna, they are running one-two at the moment. After that, Daniel Coleman is in third place from Kenya. And Coleman, one of the favorites in this race today. Coleman, a great champion, Tom, won the silver medal in the 1500 meters at the 2006 and 2008 World Indoor Championships. A guy that was inspired by the accomplishments of other Kenyan runners, a great runner in his own right. And Bernard Legat said that uh, Coleman is still young and learning. I talked to him and he said that uh, he's going to be unstoppable when he gets more experience. But uh, this is a guy who won the Prefontaine meet last year at 348, and yet Legat's calling him young and inexperienced. Right. Somebody needs to have a word with the rabbit. He shot out of here like a gun and sort of <laughs> has gotten down too far, but now the field is catching up. That's Kevin Elliott. Rabbit number one with Jackson Kavuna number two rabbits. And then it's Daniel Coleman and then Mansoor Ali from Bahrain. Well, you think about the spirit of Steve Prefontaine, such a great distance runner here, Eugene. And these fans really understand this distance, understand the mile, and I'll show their appreciation when she get louder and louder as these athletes lap the track. And Webb is back, second to the last right now. Uh, came through at 156. Um, you know, for his part, again, this is his first race of the year, so I would think that anything under 355 or so would be a great accomplishment for him. He's just got to persevere, hang in there, and then catch guys as they come off the back. He's running about eighth right now as uh, the second rabbit has taken over, Jackson Kabuna with Daniel Coleman, Bilal Mansour Ali, and Alex Kip Churcher. Here's Alan Webb way in the back there. Had to do a quick circle because they're continuing to move. But when I talked to his coach, Scott Rasco, yesterday, he said that he felt that Webb was ready, positive, knows what he's capable of doing. But again, the question is, is he ready to deal with a field like this? Here's the last lap. I think we're getting the answer right now. But they come through 254 with one lap to go. Coleman leads Ali, Kip Churcher is in there third, Career is fourth. Alan Webb continues to struggle with one runner beaten as they go down the back stretch. Nick Willis of New Zealand making a move now, and Willis charges to the front. And Willis ran a 146, 800 meter, that's great speed for him. Just a week or so ago, he's looking very good right now. He's maybe taking this field by surprise. So Nick Willis of New Zealand with a bold move on the back stretch leads the field into to the home straightaway. Willis trying to hang on to the lead. Here they come after him with Coleman and Career. And Willis, can he hold on? Final strides. Here's one last move. And it will be Career of Kenya to just Nick Willis at the line.